Welcome to Let's Talk Real Estate. I'm Janet. And I'm Dean. We are the Pull Up By Team. And we are here today to talk a little bit about the current real estate market. Now, today is November 30th. Tomorrow is December 1st and we are ready for Christmas here in our home. I am an early Christmas person. I love Christmas. Now, my question to many of you out there is, everything's all about Christmas right now. Does that mean that people are still buying houses or are we all about the holidays right now? What do you think, Dean? That's a question to me now. Um, yeah, people are buying houses. People are still dealing with things like a job transfer. Um, people have got renters coming out of their properties and they need to get them sold because they don't want to re-rent them. Maybe they're going to take that appreciation from a long-term asset. Um, folks are going into a nursing home, sadly. Some are going to move out of their house and move in with mom and dad for the holidays, but they're going to mom, move mom and dad in permanently. Right. So. We actually sold a house over Thanksgiving week, which made a seller and we, we told them we might get busy over Thanksgiving week because what do people do during Thanksgiving and Christmas? They come visit family. Especially in Knoxville, Tennessee, we have the beautiful Smoky Mountains here, and people like to come here and stay in cabins for the holiday season. They'll come for a week at a time with their family, and maybe they've been thinking about moving from somewhere else to Tennessee. So it is actually a great time for people to come here and for us to take them out and show them homes. It might not be that they're gonna buy a house the week that they're here, but they might be preparing and prepping for 2024, um, which leads me to my next point. 2024 is coming up. It's been a really rough run this year. The last year and a half have been really challenging for several reasons. Um, the main reason, the interest rates. Interest rates. We were out doing some networking this morning and we had a good mortgage friend of ours um, present this morning. And he um, spoke about the current market and how the interest rates are affecting it. Um, I thought I found it was super interesting. Did you not find his um, presentation super interesting today? It was really interesting. It, it helped me understand why rates could change. Um, had nothing really. His comments were it wasn't politically charged. It was more about the economists and their views and their positions, like who who's in charge at the time, uh, and what they view as necessary to stimulate or to slow an economy. Well, and it's not it wasn't necessarily politically charged, but I think something that people don't understand is that we have right now six people that are really driving the interest rates right now. Um, he talked about these six people. Jerome Powell is the chair um, that runs everything, and he is a lawyer. We've got two other lawyers, and then we've got three economists. And he, it was, I found it really interesting that he kind of pegged lawyers against economists. And economists actually know what's going on. They went to school for this, they understand the economy. And we have a better shot at the market improving by these economists weighing in on the interest rate. Because the lawyers and the bankers, they're in a different scope. Now don't forget, these are appointed members. We have no say as the American people on who drives our Federal Reserve, who drives our interest rates, do mm -hmm. we? No. So we have to elect the right people into office because they are the ones that appoint these people. And we've got some real problems with the interest rate right now, don't we? Well, that's frightening. You know, I guess it was about June of last year when interest rates took off and they went so quickly that... Um, just looking at the example I ran around with, ran around with for a little while, we went from 3% to 7% almost overnight. We took a, a home that would maybe be $1,700 a month and I cranked on up to $2,100, $2,200 a month for a starter home. Uh, in our Which is insane. It is. Insane. And along with that though, what's driving our market to still be strong is, of course, landlords saw this and they seized the rental revenue has also increased. So a house that would rent for $1,700 is now renting for $2,200 or $2,300 more per month, meaning it's still wiser to buy than to rent if you can afford to do so. So two, he used the example that two years ago, many of us, our um, interest rates were between two something and four. Right. And now we're looking at rates pushing into seven 
seven and, and eight, eight right. which is ridiculous. Um, it's it's insane amounts of money that that especially for the first time home buyers. I mean, we have we have young adult children um, that would love to buy a home, and I, we just spoke with a man this morning that has the young adult kids that would like to buy a home. And basically, we ourselves have been advising our kids: wait, save up your money because I can't with a clear conscience, look at my $1,300 a month mortgage on a beautiful home that I bought eight years ago and then tell my children to go out and buy ugh, not a very nice home for how much? Right. So About $2,100 a month Oh, minimum. or more? Yeah, so let's, let's talk about how we can overcome that in this market because there's a couple things. And what we think might happen next year. Right, so, so this friend of ours, Paul Armstrong, um, has a phrase. And that state, the rate, not date the home. You can buy a home now and you can date the Marry rate. the home, date the rate. Right. So the rate itself is going to change when you refinance. And rates will come down. It's just a matter of how and when the economy presses to make that happen. If you asked me five years ago, would you ever think we'll see a 3 or 4% rate? I would have laughed at you. In fact, we refinanced our house once prior and then we refinanced it again just under 3% right. when the time was right. Because we couldn't believe it would happen. I mean, why would you, probably many of you on that are listening right now have refied your current home if you've been there 10 years or longer, twice, not once, but twice, because it made sense. And what we were smart to do was keep our term going down. We didn't start with a brand new 30 year mortgage and shove that money in our pocket to live with because right. that's not too smart. Well, and I think we've all established the fact that we don't think we're ever going to see rates at 2.75, 3%, 4% again. Um, I think there's a sweet spot that we need to get down to for people to start jumping into the real estate market again. Right. It's going to be right around 6 to 7%. So ways, ways to overcome that, Janet, right now. Many of you buy a car and you see the TV, 3.9% financing for qualified buyers right now. That's how we bought our new Hyundai. Well, it made sense because the car was still reasonably priced, but the rate was great mm -hmm. and it's a long-term rate. So people are buying down the interest rate when they get a house. They're putting down more money, not on the principal, they're putting more closing fees down to close with lower rate. Right. Because at least for the while, that makes sense. New home builders are doing the same thing. And while you're listening, just know that we work with both new and existing homes. Right. And we are now able to sell new homes with a rate of in the five rate, six rate. And guess where we're going to be next year if things go as planned? Five, six percent. Probably a rate. So you won't have to refinance that new home. You'll have a rate you can live with. Right. And the new, the new home builders are doing a lot of buy, buy down rates right now. So they're a little bit more uh, they're buying down feasible, the more easier to work with. Because if you, if you want a new home, you're going to get a little bit better rate right now because they work with the, the buyers. Well, let's face it, new home, new home, they say new home sales are up. They're up over existing homes right now. There's right. a reason. The builders have a lot more power, flexibility, and bigger dollars right. to flex to get their products sold. Right. Individual home sellers, if they can't get their number, they can't go out and buy something else. That's right. why inventory is down, by the way. Well, and we're entering into an election year, so there's a lot of hope and anticipation that in 2024 you're going to start seeing the rates drop. I don't think you're going to see the cost of housing, especially in the Knoxville area, drop. We are a huge move to state. We're one of the more popular places to move to in the country right now because our cost of living is lower. Um, we do not have state income tax here, so it's a lot easier to make ends meet in Knoxville. Beautiful weather, beautiful. We, had, we just had one of the most beautiful falls you'll ever. It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a lot to do here. So people are moving here, which is going to keep our housing costs up. But with the rates coming down, we still believe that now is a perfect time to come and visit. And if you already live here, start looking. Start looking in anticipation of 2024 being a stronger real estate market here in the Knoxville area with more inventory than we have had, hopefully, lower interest rates. And let's get you into a home in 2024 because when the election is over, at that point, we never know what will happen. There's people already kicking themselves for not jumping in when the rates were six and 7%. Oh yeah. So don't wait. It is still a great time to buy a home in Knoxville, Tennessee. When's the best time to buy a home, Janet? Anytime. When you need one. Right. We're looking for people that need yes. to work with us. Yes. 
we're hoping for some wants to happen again. We yeah. like we like those four letter words, mm -hmm. but want has been a rough one this year. And we're hoping that people will want to buy a home again next year and want to sell. We're not seeing people sell right now as much either because they don't know where they're gonna go. So we're hoping for to see a correction in the market in 2024. So let's get you ready now. How can they contact us and reach out to us, Dean? Well, there's so many ways to reach us. If you're looking at Facebook, we'd like you to tune in to Palumbi Team Realty Executives. Go on there and follow us. That's where we're going to give you real estate. We've got personal Facebooks of our own, but please go to Palumbi Team Realty Executives because you're going to find out what we're talking about on a regular basis. Also, on Instagram, you can find us on this. It's called Knox Home, all one word, K-N-O-X, Knoxville, actually, Knoxville Home. K -N -O -X -V -I -L -L -A, Knoxville. Knoxville Home. Follow us on Instagram and again, you'll see things to keep up with us. We'd love it. Now, on YouTube, all bets are off. We've got real estate, <laughs> we've got antics. You'll see me cooking and barbecuing. You'll see We're us. We're a part-time comedy team too. <laughs> but if you want to laugh, then go ahead and go to our YouTube channel, which is Janet and for Sandine the Palumbi team and you'll see whatever we're doing at the moment you can like that you can share it and please subscribe share all of our stuff if you would it really helps us so if you like what we're doing we appreciate that that's right happy December um, let's all start enjoying the holiday season and maybe you need a home for Christmas I'm Janet and I'm Dean we are the Palumbi team when you buy or sell make, make it, it up Palumbi